And we welcome you back. And yes, the clean shaven face, I guess. He's got a little scrub on there with uh, Daniel Day Lewis. And uh, uh, talk about the Daniel Day nickname. It's, you know, of course, I mean, it was natural for me and Brad Cohn, who does PA for the Tornadoes. But you were just telling me that you've had that nickname all your life, huh? Yeah, ever since uh, I started playing baseball in high school, the uh, announcer we had back then uh, called me the exact same thing, Daniel Day. Uh, it's one I've kept with me my whole life. <laughs> Daniel Day and Night, how about that? Hey, so um, I was just telling you, I've, I've got a new nickname for you, Marathon Man. Um, you've been in, I think, three of the four, if not all four games for Concordia right now. And it's great to see you out there, man. And, and as I was saying, we got a chance to sit behind the plate last night. And that change up you threw, oh my God. I mean, it's just like, it keeps getting better every year. Uh, yeah, that's something I uh, developed uh, pretty recently. I didn't have it until last year, really. And uh, yeah, it's just a pitch I'm super confident in and I've gotten really comfortable with. And yeah, I, I like it a lot. <laughs> and by the way, Blue missed a couple strikes on those pitches, by the way, there no doubt last night. <laughs> um, talk about the confidence that you show out there because, you know, I mean, you've always been confident player, but it seems like this year especially, when you come out and you get to the mound, you take the ball, it's like, all right, guys, here we go. I've got the ball. I'm going to pitch well. I'm not going to put you guys in trouble, and we're going to get through this. Yeah, I just uh, love being in those situations where your game's on the line. Uh, I've, that's what I did in high school. I've done it my whole life, so I'm very comfortable in those situations. Um, I just I want to do the best I can to keep my team in the game, and I think I can. It's, and I love being in those situations. <laughs> talk about coming in last night. Um, you took over for Schrader, who ended up winning the game. But talk about coming in. The batter at the plate has a 3-1 count. You've got runners at first and second. And you inherit a count. I mean, that's always kind of weird to me. It's like, you know, what's your mindset? Because even when you come in in the middle of an inning, it's like, okay, got to kind of adjust. What's it like to take over a, a, a batter with a count on him, especially 3-1 and one with runners at first and second? That's uh, that's actually real new to me. Uh, that that never really <laughs> happened in high school, but uh, something Coach Boggs has done pretty frequently here, and I've come in on 2-0, and 3-1 is the probably the worst count I've gotten since I've been here. <laughs> but uh, you just got to come in and, and do your best. I mean, it's kind of hard to like it, not walk somebody in that count, obviously, but you just got to come in, throw strikes, and do your best, and that's what I tried to do. I walked him, I guess, but I did my best. <laughs> And talk about the guys in the bullpen. I mean, it seems like, you know, granted, we're four games into the season, but talk about, um, you know, the talent we got coming out. Trey Tony's done well this year so far. You, you know what you're going to get with Michael Smith, okay? It kind of reminds me of Mitch William from back in the day, you know? But um, it seems like the talent level is definitely there for this bullpen. Oh, for sure. We've got, we've got tons of guys that can come in and do any job you need them to. Trey is – just one of the most reliable arms you can throw out there. He'll go out there and get you outs no matter what. Uh, he's nasty. He's got his, <laughs> his sinker is insane. I don't know how they even hit it. Michael, obviously, like one of the most dependable people you can put out there. He's going to give you four innings if you need it. We got Schrader, who's a younger guy. He he's really looking good. Uh, man, just I can name anybody, and you can trust them if you put them out there. It's awesome. It's really fun. Now, I'm thinking we talked about this before, but do you have any superstitions? Uh, I, I mean, basic ones like don't step on the line. Yeah. Um, I have a set like warm-up routine that I do every time. I try to keep that the same. Uh, but nothing real crazy like you hear <laughs> some of these major league guys have. <laughs> okay, well, give some shout-outs, especially to your mom and dad, because they email just about every game. Yeah, I got to shout out my mom and dad. They're watching every game. I uh, love them, and I really appreciate their support. Um, I mean, shout out the whole Concordia family that's not able to come up, and they're still watching. We appreciate them and love them, too. All right, man. Daniel Day-Lewis, the uh, marathon man. Hey, good luck, and let's uh, hope we can take at least one or two, if not two today. We'll take two. All right, there you go. Thanks, Daniel.